large language models are not trained on all the available data in the world but instead they are trained on tiny subset of it the majority of the world data is private and we are also constantly generating new data every day so what if you possess some private data and want llm to answer question about it how can you do it well a technique called retrieval augmented generation can help you with that rag is a technique to retrieve data from external sources to augment the knowledge of llm so it can answer question about that external data do check out my video on rag concept where i explain the concept in detail in this video, I will provide step-by-step -step guide to creating RAG app using Python framework Llama Index. We will use open source LLM Llama 2 with 7 billion parameters for handling user queries. We will run LLM on our local machine using a tool named Olama. Olama also has a Python library that let us run these LLMs on our local machine. Now before I show you the code, let me explain you the workflow of our app. In case of a normal LLM app, a user query is directly sent to LLM, which then generates a response and that is sent back to user. But in case of RAG application, the user query is first sent to intermediary named retriever. The retriever then generates embedding of the user query and sends that embedding to vector store to look up for the matching embeddings. And based on that matching embeddings, the relevant documents are retrieved. Vector store generally has uh, embeddings of uh, private documents and the information about that private documents as well. Now a prompt is generated using the original query and the relevant documents. The contents of the, all the relevant documents are combined and created a context that is given in that prompt. So now this new prompt which has a query and relevant documents as context are given to LLM. The LLM then generates a response using this modified prompt. And as this uh, prompt has a relevant document, the response generated now is more informed response. In our case, we will be storing various blocks. So we will download few blocks from the internet and store their contents in the vector store along with their embedding. So that's the workflow of our app. To use LLMs on our local machine, first of all, we need to install Olama. For that, go to Olama website, olama.com, click on this download button and from this download page, install the Olama based on your operating system. If you are on Linux operating system, then you will need to execute this command in the shell and that will install Olama. So once Olama is successfully installed, you can go to terminal and verify installation by executing command Olama. And if you see help page like this, then it confirms that Olama is successfully installed. Once Olama is successfully installed, we can pull the latest Llama 2 model which we are going to use for our application. For that, execute command Olama pull Llama 2 and that command will download Llama 2 on your system. Now this can take some time because the file size of Llama 2 is around 4 GB. Once Llama 2 is downloaded, next thing that we need to do is bring up Olama server. For that, execute command ulama serve and this command will bring up the server. Now if you are on a Linux operating system and you then you might face an error like this saying that the address is already in use. The reason behind this is that when ulama is installed on Linux operating system, a system service is created which keeps ulama server running. So if you want to check whether ulama server is already running, then you can execute this command systemctl status ulama and then you can see that the ulama server is up and running if that is the case then you don't need to start ulama server because it's already running in order to access our llama 2 model we need to keep this ulama server running so keep that in mind i have kept the total code for our allergy application in this jupyter notebook where I will explain you step by step process of creating RAG application. So as you can see at the beginning, there are table of contents where I have mentioned various steps that we will perform. So we will first load model, then we will load external data, then we will create index in vector store. And at last we will build a complete pipeline using the previous components. I mean, in order to use llama index, you need to install it. So execute uh, pip install llama index command and that will install all the required libraries 
though for ulama you will need to execute this uh, llama index llms ulama so execute next line of code as well and it will install all the required libraries so first of all we will load llama2 model using ulama for that import ulama class for from llama index module and then create an object of ulama there you can provide the model name which is llama2 and that will create an instant of, instance of ulama llm then you can call this uh, llm by calling complete method in it and there you can give the query so i have given a simple query do you know about cloud 3 and it will generate a response and it will be a completion response which has a text where the response is present and as you can see from the response it's saying that i am not familiar with cloud 3 the reason behind this is that cloud 3 is a latest conversational ai model from anthropic it's released around a month back and llama 2 is trained in 2023 so it will be trained on data collected till 2023 hence it does not have information about cloud 3 that's why we are getting this response that it's not aware of it so in our application rg application we will provide relevant document which has information about this cloud 3 to our model and then it will be able to answer what cloud 3 is in the next section we are loading the data from external documents so for that you will need beautiful soup and request module and over here i have a list of urls so these are the urls which are present on anthropic website and they are the blocks which has information about various cloud models so cloud 3 cloud 2.1 cloud 2 1.2 and so on so these small articles we will use as our private database which will store in a vector store so over here i am looping through each url retrieving the content of that url and then parsing that content using a beautiful soup and retrieving that text from beauty using beautiful soup and then i have created an instance of a document so document is a llama index uh, object over there for text we will provide the total text of that uh, particular page and we can also provide a metadata so over here i am providing a simple metadata so what is source and i am providing url of that particular blog so in metadata you can provide many other things like uh, you can also provide the title of the page and language and so on so docs now will have list of documents object so let me show you and as you can see i am showing you the second last document and it has information as you can see over here is the total text of the document the total text of that particular blog and that will be stored in this documents so using these documents um, we will create an index so in this section i am creating index using our documents which we created for that we need to import vector store index so this vector store index is a very simple vector store it's an in-memory vector store which is available from llama index module and then i have imported hugging face embedding so we will use a model from hugging face for generating embedding of queries as well as documents and then i have imported this settings object so settings object will be used to set the global setting of our rig application so we can set which is the language model which is the embedding model that we will set in this settings object so first of all i am setting embedding model in settings object over here and for that i have created an instance of hugging face embedding and over there i am using this model bge small and version 1.5 so this is a embedding model language model available from uh, Beijing academy of uh, ai and this model is specifically designed to generate embeddings so once we have set embedding models we can create our index by calling from documents method on this vector store index object and over there we provide documents so docs is a list of document objects which we loaded in previous section and this will return an index object now using this index object we can retrieve the relevant documents so for that you need to create a retriever and you can call as retriever function on index object and that will return you a retriever object 
now we can invoke this uh, retriever object by calling retrieve method on it and over there i am providing the same query which we provided to our llm that do you know about lot 3 and that will return the relevant documents so node with score is a kind of a document which will have all the text of the matching documents so over here i am looping through the documents and then i am printing the metadata and as you can see two documents are written and as you can see from the url that cloud 3 urls are written so documents which has information about cloud 3 are written so now that we have loaded our large language model embedding model and created index we can create our complete rag pipeline and that's what i am doing in this cell so first of all i have imported settings uh, object again and over there i am setting llm so again i have created an instance of ulama so again i am initializing our llama 2 model and in settings dot embed model i have set our embedding model from hugging face and then i have again created an index using from documents by providing list of documents and at last on index object i have called this function as query engine at this function will return a query engine and this query engine is our complete RAG application. So we can query it and retrieve the answers. So that's what I am doing over here in the next cell. As you can see on query engine, we can call this method query and over there we can provide our query. So again, I have asked it that, do you know about Lord three? And as you can see from the response this time, this time it did not say that I am not aware of Lord three. But it's saying that yes, I am familiar with Cloud3 and according to the context provided, Cloud3 is a family of foundational AI model that can be used in various applications such as brainstorming ideas and so on. The Cloud3 family includes three state of art models, Haiku, Sonnet and Opus. So all this information, the context information and the total information about these models is retrieved from the relevant documents which is sent to this uh, query engine. So this response object is a type of a response object as you can see and it has other information as well. So in metadata we can see that what documents were given. So as you can see that Cloud 3 family which is the block which has information about Cloud 3 and then there is another another block name which is at URL Cloud and that block also has information about Cloud 3. So both these documents were given as context when generating answer for this query do you know about Cloud3. That's why it was able to properly generate answer this time saying that it knows about Cloud3. It knows about Cloud3. Now this uh, query engine you can provide other parameters as well like uh, similarity top case. So this parameter by default generally top two documents are retrieved but if you want like five ten documents then you can set this parameter similarity top k and by default it generates the complete response but if you want response in a streaming manner then you can set this parameter streaming to true at last this response ob object has also attribute name source notes and their list of the documents which were used as a context will be present so that's our simple rag application we created a simple query engine which takes user query retrieve relevant documents and generates answer to user query based on that relevant documents. So if you have any doubts or any questions about this RG application, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section.